Hey everybody, Mr. Mario 19 here. Um, yeah, I finally figured out how to record the Binding of Isaac. Okay, first of all, I think I'm just gonna delete my save. Okay, there we go. Let's just start this out. Okay, so I'm using Bandicam. Oh god. Which means there's gonna be a watermark at the top and stuff. And, uh, I have to, like, hear myself through, I don't know, it's like a loop of my voice. But, yeah, Binding of Isaac, my favorite game ever. I gotta just try and be a little quieter because, like, everyone in my house is sleeping. But, yeah, so Bandicam... I have the free version, which means I can only record 10 minute videos. Which means this is probably gonna stop recording in the middle of the game. And I'm gonna have to like, uh, do something about that. I'll probably just have to notice and start recording again. So, bye new Isaac. I should have probably shown you guys the cutscene, but you guys don't want to see cutscenes. So, you're basically... This is Binding of Isaac. This is Isaac that I'm playing as right now. He shoots tears. These are literally just tears that damage enemies. And, uh, yeah, you saw me earlier, that golden room I went to. Play the super cool music. Yeah, that was the item room. I just got a key, which is good, because I'm going to need that to go to the same kind of room the next floor. Because, okay, this is hard to describe. Let me just start that over. Anyways, because a game with multiple floors, and uh, each floor has a shop and a treasure room, or item room. Item rooms are usually what I'm gonna go for, but if you have enough money, you could go for the shop. There are a lot of cool items in the shop, but I don't really like any of them with, like, the map or even the compass. Now, there is a DLC for Binding of Isaac, but, and it's only $3, but, I don't know. It makes the game a lot harder, and there isn't a choice to, like, activate it or deactivate. Once you buy it and install it, it's like permanent in your game, I think. I don't know. But back to like the description of this. Binding of Isaac, multiple floors, each one has shop and item room. Each one, or you can get these items. Spacebar item. Whoa, Jesus Christ. My cat just scared the crap out of me. You guys can probably hear. Oh, I can't see crap. Okay. I'm probably going to die here, which is really sad. Because this is the first floor, and there's like six floors. Until you beat the first boss. Or not the first. Oh my god, my cat. What do you want? Jeez, just the perfect time for her to interrupt. But yeah. Each floor has a boss too, and you have to fight that boss to go to the next floor. Okay, this is Larry Jr. Um, first floor boss. That's the belt, which is a speed upgrade. Um, I guess I'll take it. But yeah, you can skip all those, like, there's usually, like, uh, gaps in between floors, but you can skip them just by pressing spacebar. I don't know if it's just spacebar, you could probably press some other buttons, too. There's our boss room. Um, key. Yeah. You need keys to open shops and item rooms. Bombs, those are used for, uh, 
Oh wait, I should probably describe like my whole top hot bar thing. Okay. Or under life is like my health. You can refill that with red hearts. Only red hearts fill those containers. I don't know if we'll see any. Oh, there's one right there. They're blue hearts, soul hearts, or spirit hearts. Those aren't, you can't really refill them, but yeah, see? Once you lose that, you lose it forever. But you don't, it, I don't know. The red hearts, they're refillable. Blue hearts are just there to block damage. You can get more blue hearts though. It's not really that hard. Like bombs, you could use to find the secret room or to find a, uh, if you see a bluish rock, you can blow that up and sometimes it'll give you some spirit hearts. But yeah, back to that. Red hearts, refillable, uh, space bar items. These, like, they usually take charges. Some recharge every six rooms, some recharge every three rooms, some every two rooms, and some, like, every room. I think I'm gonna look for the secret room up here. Nope. The reason I'm not fighting the boss yet is because I just wanna... Uh, okay, I have a lot of bombs, I can do that. But, the reason I'm not fighting the boss is because I just wanna get the item room first. Okay, back... Okay, under arrows... Is just like the type of bomb or not bombs, but okay. There's something you can do here. Yeah, put down a bomb and leave the room. It makes the bomb like a lot more powerful. Um, there's a secret room, and that's the worst secret room ever. Usually, they contain a cool item, and I heard, uh, this sucks. But yeah, this is like my favorite game ever. Maybe second favorite game? I don't know what my second favorite game is. This is number one, my second being, uh. I don't know. Maybe Minecraft or something. No, Team Fortress 2. Uh. Game is so fun. It never gets boring. Especially when you play like a bunch of cool modes. Okay, I keep getting sidetracked. Okay, those pennies, those are literally just pennies. Seven pennies. Seven pennies is enough to buy a half-priced item in the shop. If, like, okay, a full-priced item would be 15. Yeah, it's not really half. But once you get this thing called a steam sale, which makes everything 50% off in the shop, <sighs> then everything, every item is half off in the shop. It's really cool. But you only get that from like greed, which is a seven sin boss dude. It's like a mini boss. This is Halo Flies, which gives me two flies that fly around me and block shots, which is pretty useful. Um, there are a lot more characters to this game. This is just Isaac. My favorite character being Judas, who has like a cool fez and this cool book that makes him do a lot of damage. Okay, this is Monstro, and uh, I don't think there's really any strategy to fighting him. Um. Yeah, just dodge his shots and keep shooting, I guess. But, uh, hopefully I'll notice once this Bandicam video ends, because then I'll have to, like, restart it, like, right away. I don't even know how long it's been. Okay, radioactive spider? What is that? I think that, I don't know what that does. I'm trying to remember. 
Okay, so it's okay. I caught that because Bandicam actually told me that the video ended. But yeah. Right now this is a devil room, right up here. I didn't take any red heart damage during the whole floor. And I didn't wait, did I? I don't know what. I didn't take any damage on the boss, I don't think, so, which is why this has a really high chance of oh Okay. These you could spend your literal red heart containers on. I'm going to spend mine on this brimstone. This is a really strong item. And I like it. My favorite item in the game is chocolate milk. Just because it lets you charge up your shots and do a lot more damage. And it's better than this, because this you actually have to charge it up to fire. Chocolate milk you don't have to charge it up. Except this you actually have, like, you can shoot over rocks and stuff. It's pretty good. Okay, that's Judgment. I like Judgment. I will give him money and he will give me a shop item. Hopefully. Okay, back to what's up there. Ooh, that's a tarot card. The moon. The moon card takes me to the secret room. Okay, this guy's giving me a lot of keys and bombs. Running out of money. Oh, I thought it would pay out right there. But Judgment can give you shop items or HP ups. I don't know if there's anything else he gives away, but I think that's all he does. <sighs> so the moon card I might just use. Oh, that's, that's not even good. Oh, whoa. I don't even have to use a key to get in here. It just let me go into the shop. Which means I don't need to use a key here. And I really want that now. Ugh, now I gotta find a lot of money to get that treasure map. The treasure map shows you the whole layout of the level. Let's get back to the top. The black thing with like the string coming out, that's a bomb. In case you didn't notice. Bombs, like I said earlier, are used to get the secret rooms and blow up tinted rocks. They can also do damage, but I don't do that much. Because there's a chance of killing yourself. And here's the item room. Oh my god. That is the worst item in the game. It's called a lemon mishap. It takes a ton of rooms just to charge and all it does is that. And it barely damages anything. And then it fades away. Ugh. Least favorite item. Ooh, mini boss. This is Pride, one of the seven deadly sins. Okay. Holy crap, it's turning day out in like real life. Justice card. Gives a bunch of everything. I actually almost have enough to buy that treasure map. If I don't get enough, I'm gonna start blowing stuff up. But yeah, Brimstone is like really good. Let's go back to the top. Keys. Used for opening shops, golden chests, and item rooms. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go to this. This is a mob trap room. Usually there's something in here, like this time there's a golden chest. Sometimes there's a gray chest which does not require a key. And sometimes there's just an item. This actually gave me an item out of the golden chest. I didn't really expect that. That's the red syringe, which is a uh, poison touch, which I'm just gonna take. I'm surprised it didn't get hit while all that happened. But yeah, in these, you just interact with the thing in the middle, and then you'd start like three waves of enemies. Oh, I took damage. 
There's also a way to like really be weird with this brimstone. It's called like brim snapping. I don't know how to do it though. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna see what it does. I'm gonna go down to the boss. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna go start blowing stuff up. Got seven bombs. Um, I'll just blow up Judgment up here. Keep one penny. Now I'll blow up the place in here. Key and a bomb. Did not want that. And then I'll go blow up the other judgment. Honestly, I don't think he... No, he can't even give me enough money. You know, I'm just gonna pay judgment because there's nothing else to do. Hopefully it gives me, like, the compass. Death card, that does damage to everything in the room. Well, actually, like, any enemies in the room. Why are you not giving me any items? Um, I don't know if I should keep... I think I should use the death card on the enemy. Then come back for the emperor, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. You can charge up Brimstone before you even go into a boss battle. Oh, friggin' Gertie Jr. Not Jr., just Gertie. Forgot about using the item. I'm gonna wait to use this death guard until the yeah, that I'm really bad at dodging in this game, so I'm trying my best at dodging, but it's not gonna happen. Like I said, the DLC is three dollars, but it adds a oh, I might actually die here. That would suck. Oh crap. Oh god. There's some more hearts up here. Just, just grab. Okay, if you guys haven't noticed already, at the top left is like the map and the layout of the whole level. It, the bright rooms are the things I've already been to, and like, I don't think, no, there's no. I already explored the whole level. Next level, I'll show you. But see those like faded out rooms? Those are the rooms I haven't been to. Or at least I didn't finish. That was amazing. I should probably be using this item more. This item, this specific item, um, freezes everything in the room. Oh no. These are annoying. I can't believe I just left the room. Now I have to fight these guys again. There we go. Oh, this wasn't even a good room. This was just an end room. I didn't even have to go back in. Ugh. But yeah. What time is it? Five in the morning. Oh no. This is worth it.
Those guys are. Ugh, those guys are so annoying. And it's really annoying trying to like play and then stop or restart the recording because the recording keeps stopping. And this brimstone is making every room so easy. Just look at that. Don't even need to try. Oh yeah, I do. It's gonna be pretty hard to clear these guys to get over to me. But, okay. Right now is the caves too. The next floor is uh, the depths. And in the depths too, we fight mom. Now, I probably should have told you guys a story, but the story is like, Mom, um, I can't remember it. Oh, okay, next video, if I make another video of this, I'll show the intro. That would probably make more sense. Now, what's in here? Not worth it about it but I already have good resources I can't believe I have so many bombs and keys now we haven't been to the item room that would suck if I forgot about that item rooms are what keep you alive got enough keys and bombs to last for like the end of the game it's a lot of money but it I could get to it actually, but I uh, might as well. Nothing to do with it though. Unless I, like, had more money. <gasps> That's chocolate milk. I don't think chocolate milk does anything when I have. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. God dang it, I shouldn't have taken brimstone. I would have been more surprised. But now I have chocolate milk. Chocolate milk and brimstone don't work well together. They, they're just nothing. Why did that not do anything? Wait, is that what it does? Does it not let you do... Okay, I need... I think it might make it so you can't do damage if you charge up your shop before you go in a room. That would suck. That's what's been like keeping me alive. This, uh, it does do that. Wow. Now this is fistula. Wait, is it just like in an infinite? No, wait. No, it isn't. I thought it was stuck there forever. Now this thing just breaks into a ton of bits, and I'm not going to use this item until they're, like, that many. Uh, a wonker. I think you get that from, yeah, just beating the caves. Now, if I could actually beat Mom on my first try, holy crap, i feel good. What? I'm not even charging it. I'm not even pressing anything. There. So I already figured out I can't charge stuff up. Okay, these are brains. And if you step on their path, you get hurt. One full heart of damage. Which is not good. Pretty fly. I have three flies around me now. That's the most you can get. Flies aren't the only thing that can actually do this, though. You could get a, a cube of meat, which is one of the best. Guardian Angel in the DLC, but I don't have that. Or... Okay, I don't have most of the things. You need to discover items, kind of, before you can even use them. And by that, I mean, like, you have to get achievements first before they're even unlocked. So, let's say I wanted, like, the relic, which gives me spirit hearts, like, once every six rooms. I'd have to beat the game with another character. 
And that is not gonna happen for a while. Ugh, keep forgetting to do it. Ugh, that's annoying. But yeah, these things have the same charging ability as well. Okay, you see this thing? It's how it's different colored than the rest. Killed it. Health up, that's good. That would have been so good if I didn't have chocolate milk. I prefer chocolate milk over brimstone. Like any day. Wait, what? Is this brim snapping? Oh my god, this is brim snapping. How did I do that? Oh, that's so cool. I need to like figure out how to do that controlled. This just looks really weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That does way less damage. Another pretty fun? Doesn't do anything. Ooh, he can actually give me a health up, which I would really take. Is Gluttony another one of the seven deadly sins? If you kill all of the seven deadly sins, like, it doesn't need to be all in one run, but if you kill them all, you unlock the, uh, the Book of Sins? I think that's what it's called? Oh, crap. I already took a heart of damage. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. don't want to get cornered by those things. I will trade a bomb here. Just for that heart. Now, every room in the game, or every floor in the game, has an item room. Except for when you unlock the womb. Then, there's nothing but a boss. And there actually is, like, arcades and stuff, but... Well, I... While I'm on the topic, I might as well talk about arcades. Arcades spawn when you have at least five cents going into a floor. Or going into the second floor of a place. Like, let's say, one might actually spawn next floor. Because the second floor of a place, and, oh, those are spikes. Those deal full harder damage. You guys are probably wondering what that thing is. The thing in the middle? You cannot kill them, and they just shoot at you until you kill everything in the room. It's pretty annoying. I literally just walked into that. But, see that? Oh, no. mm. That, like, green guy? Yeah. He does extra damage to me. He does a full heart. And I need health now. I am so close to death. There's some health. Hourglass, really? Hourglass just, like, slows down time for about as long as Mom's Raw. But, Mom's Raw is better, because it literally just freezes them. I think I've explained most of the mechanics about this game. At least most all I know. There's so many items in this game, though. And there's no saving mechanic. So... Once you die, you're liter you, you just have to start to run over. I keep accidentally doing the brim snapping thing. I don't even want to. I don't know why so many people like it. There's like not any damage at all. Oh yes. 
Oh, okay. The recording just stopped in the middle of the battle, or at least at the start. But we're fighting Monstro 2. Monstro 2, easiest boss fight ever. If you get him into those like laser limbo, he just does this forever. Unless you screw it up and then he starts jumping around. But yeah, that's pretty easy. Don't even need to use my trap. No. Now he's jumping around. Okay, there we go. I don't know if this is gonna make him jump around, but I hope he just shoots laser. Yeah. get him into this, you basically won. Unless you screw it up. I can't believe I just walked into him. Oh, I need some more damage. I'm like, no. Why? Jump around now. Spawn those things. Now he's against a wall, so I can't like go on the other side of him. Oh, there we go. And it gave me tears up, which is useless as brimstone. Might as well just go down. Um, depths two. This is the last fall you can actually do, or at least I can, since I reset my save. Oh crap. Actually, that's worth it. I have like 16 bombs with nothing to do. I should have been looking for the secret rooms. By the way, treasure map, the thing we saw in the first shop, or the shop we just, the only shop we went to. Why have I not been going to shops? But, okay treasure map shows you the whole layout of the whole like floor the compass shows you where each like special room is like boss room and treasure room and shop and stuff the uh let's go there's so many good things like nine volt makes it so your item charges faster Tears up, really? Um. Wow. Wait, what did I get in. Did I even. What did I get in the item room before? What did I just get in the item room? Oh no. That. Just. There is no way out of that. There is a way to fly, but there you get it from items. Ugh, these things. Okay, so the first time we beat this, we get Judas. Which, once again, is my favorite character. Wait. Oh crap, this isn't actually beating it. This is just beating mom. I need to beat mom and uh freaking mom's heart to get Judas, which sucks. Which means we're not getting Judas in this episode. But we did get progress. I didn't think we would win on the first run. Then again, we might not even win this but it looks pretty likely. 
didn't even talk about this, but I got the magician card, which is pretty useless. All it does is give you homing shots. And homing shots don't work with Broomstone. Probably shouldn't have even taken Broomstone. I'd have so much more health. I'd have another character. The way you get characters, you do specific things. Like, to get one of my second favorite characters, you need to get 55 coins in one game. Which is pretty hard to do. Oh, God. We've almost actually fought every deadly sin. Holy crap. The only ones we haven't fought is, like, Sloth and Greed. We fought Glutton. Oh, we gotta fight Lust, too. That one's annoying. I will just use this. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so once we beat Mom here, if we beat Mom, I don't want to sound too sure of myself. Oh my God, I hate these rooms. Oh my God, so much damage. gonna go for that because I have so much stuff. <gasps> Did I get it? Oh, I thought I got the small rock. That's a damage up which I really want right now. This is gonna be annoying. These are guts. Are you kidding me? I couldn't even get out of that. Item room. Brother Bobby. I guess not too bad. This guy just follows me around and just shoots. He shoots when I shoot, but technically I'm not shooting, I'm just charging up my beam. I can't believe I just did that. Well, Bounty of Isaac, episode one. I guess uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna record whenever I play this, just because I don't want to like record or not record when I have a good run. So yeah, this is episode one. Tell me how you like it. Probably be uploaded at maybe. Oh crap, okay, um, maybe like 9 in the morning? My time? I don't know what time that is, but my time? Edward McMillan. He made this game. It's Flash, so I can't record this with Fraps. Which really, really sucks. Because I like Fraps way more than Bandcam. But, thanks for watching everyone. Um, I've been Mr. 19 and... See you later.